Hello, a very good morning to all of you. A warm welcome to this webinar on anxiety. I am Dr. Madhukar, a medical director and consultant psychiatrist with the Cadabums Group. And I have with me uh, Dr. Priya Raghavan, uh, consultant psychiatrist. Good morning, yeah. Dr. Madhukar. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this webinar where we are going to be discussing a very commonly um, occurring topic that is anxiety. We have with us, uh, in fact, four speakers for the morning. Myself, me, I'm going to speak about the science behind anxiety and Dr. Priya. I will be speaking about how to manage anxiety, specifically focusing on treatment of anxiety. We also have uh, Mrs. Suh Suhita Saha, who is going to be distinguishing between everyday and Neha Kadabams, who is going to talk about managing anxiety. Now, uh, before we start the webinar topic as, as such, why should we be talking about anxiety in the first place? Yeah, it is something that occurs very commonly, isn't it, Dr. Madhukar? Much more com commonly than we think. Um, generally, they say 14% of the population will have anxiety at any point in time. Uh, but we also know that there's a lot, lot of hesitancy in seeking treatment or, in fact, there's a lack of awareness on recognizing anxiety itself. And I think that's what we aim to do today, try to find signs of anxiety and maybe speak a little bit about the treatment and overall management of it. Absolutely agree with you. It hasn't gone through anxiety. All of us point or the other. In. And before we get to the uh, webinar topic, to thank uh, Mr. Sandesh Kadab, Dr. Sunil and the entire staff of Kadabams for arranging this uh, webinar. I think as laypersons or as professionals, all of us would have had these questions about anxiety. Now, just looking back at my own professional career, I remember during my first year of MBBS, anatomy exams we all know, and the question paper was given for the first half an hour, I had gone totally blank, Yeah. knew nothing what was going on. Yeah and saw my classmates all writing, started to write and yeah. take papers and more and more. Yeah. So for half an hour, totally gone blank. Yeah. Knew nothing what was going on, so I yeah. had to recollect what I had read yeah. and then luckily I yes. passed that exam. Good. That sounds like a big panic attack <laughs> there. Uh, did, did you pass the exam, Dr. Madhukar? That would be... <laughs> well, it may surprise you. I got a first class too. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why we have Dr. Madhuk sitting here. He's a very bright psychiatrist from his, his days. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to speak about, mention about anxiety in, you know, I, I know that's a very common thing that happens. Uh, you're put in a spot, you're put in a situation, your mind goes blank, something all uh, that happens to many of us and, and that sounds a bit like a panic attack, especially when you have physical symptoms, isn't it? Like palpitations, churning in the stomach, etc. Absolutely. Yeah. But also uh, to speak about the pan pandemic in recent times, how many people, Dr. Madhukar, have we seen who have had anxiety in our clinics? So many have come through the door. Absolutely. Uh, I think starting with February or March itself, when the whole world started seeing new cases. Yeah. And more, more so, I think it hit us, uh, you know, over here mm. once the lockdown. Even to, to this day, we get to see people mm. who have experienced and who are. Yeah. And I don't think in our lifetime we have not seen, you know, a situation like that where people mm. all over the world yes. being pandemic yeah. to a real situation, a threat, yeah. a real threat as to what may yeah. happen. Yep. 